Hello, my name is Bridu. I'm 25 years old and I am from Estonia. So this is where my accent is from. Estonia isn't listed as a Nordic country, but for me, it definitely is a place with Nordic spirit and this winter was a good proof for it. This is a story from the past winter. The first snow came in November and it made me really happy because last winter was so warm here in Estonia that we had only few snowy days. I even got a little bit scared that this is our new reality. Winters that look like November for four months straight. This winter December was still rather warm, so I really enjoyed when the snow covered nature with fresh soft flakes. December I had a chance to try out ice skating on the Pog Lakes for the first time in my life. It is a rare occasion when the minus degrees arrive long enough before the snow, so the ice has enough time to grow. This crystal clear ice lasted only for a few days, but it was an amazing experience. And when the new year arrived, the real winter came as well. It was cold and snowy for almost two months. It used to be normal here, but the climate has definitely changed over time. I really love Estonian winter. I love the cold and the sound of walking in the snow. I love the freezing weather and the silence of the winter. But I don't like the lack of sunlight. This year I saw the sun for the first time on 15th of January. For the first two weeks of this year it was only darkness and cloudiness. Six hours of daylight per day and zero hours of sunlight. In January we had on average 14 hours of sunlight in total. It was really tiring. Some days I felt no energy at all. Sleeping with the sleeping bag and two blankets. It was it was actually really good. It was not cold. I went to try out winter camping in my car for two nights. 
On the second day the sky finally cleared up and it was so worth the wait. The temperature was about minus 18 degrees. It was really magical day and this is a perfect example why I love winter so much. The winter continued with very little energy. Only days when I felt energy flowing in my veins were the days I spent in nature. I spent many days exploring and capturing the beauty of our winter. Maybe I like winter so much because I was born in winter. After my birthday comes the coldest month in Estonia, February. I remember the coldest day this year really clearly. It was the 18th of February. I went to capture the springs in central Estonia. It was minus 28 degrees that morning and I think it was the most magical and surreal winter morning I have ever experienced. It was really calm and quiet. Only one village dog was barking in the distance. But taking photos and videos wasn't easy because of the cold. The fingers froze really quickly. Nature has a calming and mental health healing effect. If you want to support my work then all the photos you see in this video are available as prints on my webshop. All prints are available on high quality photo paper or canvas and are shipping worldwide. You can find a link to my print shop from the video description. And I really appreciate every order. It helps me to keep capturing photos of nature and to put out more videos here on my YouTube channel as well. At the end of February snow started melting and in March it felt like spring already. Winter has been fighting back, but now at the end of this month the spring took over. In March I finally felt new energy in me and I really enjoy that the daylight and the warmth of the sun is back. It was an amazing winter with awesome experiences I'm really grateful for. For me, one of my biggest fears is to put out the video like this, especially when I'm talking in English, because it isn't my native language. And I'm constantly worrying about what other people will think about me or my work. But actually, what is the worst thing that can happen? Maybe it's a little bit embarrassing. So what? It's not a reason that should keep us back from achieving our dreams. My dream is to tell meaningful stories of Estonia and its nature, people and culture. And why not to do it in English if that way I can maybe reach wider audience and maybe more people get to know about Estonia that way. So my message is not to let your fears lead your life. Thank you so much for watching 
and see you soon with new stories from Estonian nature.